I anticipated the uh, both ends of this was going to be too high, and actually both ends turned out to be right on the money, and I'm two inches low in the center part. That can all be made up with a little uh, screen rock. So I'm going to go through here and mark up uh, approximately where the footings are going to have to be and uh, see if there's any trimming I'm going to have to do to, uh, to get my uh, form boards in here and get ready for some concrete. I'll get this squared up with some batter boards and string lines and try to get uh, set up to where I can get the, uh, the forms and the rebar in and uh, maybe I can get going on this pretty quick. got to uh, clean out that step yet get that uh, shoveled out and then uh, where I built up the dirt on the easterly side over here we'll have to uh, get the excavator and pull that down I'll do that after a while kind of amazing this old guy with blind in one eye and can't see out of the other actually got a pretty flat pad up here. That step footing is going to serve several purposes, uh, including the uh, back wall of the greenhouse and also a support wall for the uh, where the sheds are going to sit next to it at the back there and uh, so it'll be basically be a dual purpose thing and uh, I'm going to cover up the sheds anyway so we're going to try out some adobe or rammed earth around those sheds and kind of help protect the sheds and keep them easier to uh, to be heated or keep from freezing inside and that kind of stuff I didn't bring a tripod for the uh, laser level, so that's the reason the receiver is so low on the stick. It made it a little hard for me to uh, see if I needed to go up and down. So three points on this pad, pretty good shape. I've got to get the excavator down and start pulling all that loose dirt away from the bench area. And uh, I already know that the fourth point's going to be low. We can build that up with a little uh, screened rock. And that end of the bench is also going to be low. Uh, that's going to be stepped down more than likely. And so the footing will be lower on that a higher stem wall. I figure if I'm within a tenth or two of the grade, I'm doing pretty good, as long as it's not too high.
I'm going to wrap some coils up inside the footings up here on the main pad and uh, it's going to be part of my heating and cooling system for the greenhouse and uh, it'll be uh, screened rock on top of that and a concrete pad on top of that. But, uh, the pad's going to be below grade on most of it so just be a walk out on the easterly side and uh, there'll be a, a access at the back to go down where those sheds are at. scraping on this corner just to make sure I'm at grade. And, uh, this corner is going to be uh, pretty important to uh, turn and step down over, uh, on the north side there. It's, uh, that's the corner that's going to be low. So it's it's going to have to be a step footing into dig out this uh, area here that I built up to, to get the excavator up there. Kind of make a little bit lower bench, kind of help uh, work on that step a little bit and that low corner on the, on the main pad. And, uh, we can go from there. It's a good thing I learned how to shovel in the coal mines because uh, I've already done quite a bit on this pad and on that step footing. And uh, I don't think I'm done yet. Do us a favor and help this channel grow. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much.